Hey all, welcome to the CIOPCC, or as I like to call it, the Institute, and this week's acquisition report. So, this week uh, I got nine new things added in, uh, and next week's going to be a big week too, because we're starting to get some of that San Diego Comic-Con exclusives in that we pre-ordered in advance. Uh, we're also getting more of the Simpsons stuff, so that adds to it. Here we have the two and a half inch Wiggum as well as the two and a half inch Lisa back there. We added those two this week, and then on the two and a half inch scale, I just went out and uh, decided I'm going to buy the five pack for the family, so uh, I'll be picking that up this week and adding it in. I still don't have the other two five inch ones in the first wave, uh, Homer and uh, Groundskeeper Willie. Uh, I am hoping to find those here sometime this week. Uh, but uh, I did pre-order the second wave already. You've got the deluxe figures showing up on Big Bad Toy Store. So that line is starting to crank along. So there's the first two of the nine I picked up this week. Number three, I know. I swear you're not going to keep seeing these. But this week I did pick up one more. That is the Mama Pest uh, version of Linda up there. And so that leaves me, I think, with just one more of these to pick up. That would be brunch squatch so i'm gotta get that one once i find somebody on ebay with one cheap i'll be grabbing that and then maybe that'll be the last time you have to see those chiba in motion guys for a while next up got some other really cool stuff here so that's only three so number four i did a review on this guy this week that would be the uh, strange new world spock here he is with many of the other x06 and qmx figures and Spock is here with Kirk. Not Kirk, for God's sakes. Pike. Him and Pike are hanging out back here. He is here with Pike, uh, Kirk. Kirk's over here sitting down in the chair being all captain-y. But this is a fantastic figure. This might be one of Exo, my favorite X06 figures so far. And I've got a lot of favorites. They've done uh, 30 figures so far, so I've got a lot of favorites. That is number four. Number five and six. When you have a big week, you know there's always going to be some 112 Collective in there. And that is Dick Tracy and Flat Top. This came as a two-pack. You can see we've already gotten Prune Face. And I know, uh, I'm pretty sure I saw photos of the blank coming out of uh, San Diego. I haven't paid too much of the, to the Mezco coverage yet. But I'm pretty sure I saw that. So that would be great. Add some more to this line. So that's, what, six so far. These are really great figures. You know, I never really expected to get such cool uh, pulp uh, comic age stuff from anybody. But if you're going to get it from somebody, it's going to be Mezco. They've always had a love for that stuff. So let's look at the next two. This is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I haven't opened this guy up, and I don't know if I'm going to. This is the uh, first Turtles 2-pack uh, that NECA has produced. Here, let's see uh, they just slide out one end, so we will slide the cover off. And you can see what these bad boys look like. There they are. There's those first turtles. Like I said, I don't think I'll be opening these ones up. I think like the uh, signed version uh, of the original black and white drawing style that I had gotten at Comic-Con many years ago, I think I'll keep this one boxed. Nice set. That's seven and eight. So I said nine, right? It's only one more. Kind of blew through those pretty quick. And one more is another great six scale figure. I haven't been buying a lot of hot toys, but I was uh, looking forward to this one coming in. This is the Surrey as uh, Black Panther. I didn't use the, uh, this is one of those rare occasions where I didn't use the hot toys unmasked sculpt because I have Surrey there already from the previous movie and I thought it looked better now to have her standing next to her with this new Black Panther costume with the rest of the Black Panther line. So there's number nine. It was a great haul this week. Lots of excellent stuff. Uh, I know I've already got more stuff coming in tomorrow thanks to San Diego Comic-Con uh, as well as a couple other things that I had pre-ordered. So this is going to be another big week in front of me. So we will definitely have a uh, acquisition report next week, and I'm hoping that next week things are going to calm down enough that I can start doing some more favorite collections and top 10 lists again. The last few weeks have just been so crazy that uh, I haven't been doing enough. So make sure you subscribe, have a great weekend, and hope your collecting is going great.